brought to you by GTA. We start with you. The Speaker's measure gives the governor transfer authority for up to $7.5 million to pay the first 754 survivors' claims. It's not clear where the cash will come from. That will be up to the administration to find. I know that the governor will be working closely with her fiscal team to, uh, to identify that, that funding source. And I know that in our efforts of working closely with everybody, that, that, that the resources will be identified and there uh, to be able to provide this award. The speaker says her bill does not conflict with Congressman Michael Sinicholas's legislation. His bill is expected to be voted on soon in the House. It corrects a prior technical error in the war claims funding law and authorizes Treasury to release money that's already been set aside. He needs to continue his efforts. We need, we need to continue to show our, our signers that we continue to try. The, the congressman's office, even before Congressman St. Nicholas, have all tried. We cannot stop trying. We will fail if we stop trying. Barnes says time is of the essence in getting survivors paid, and she believes this may be the quickest way to get it done. I think that this, this approach is a very positive, fast approach moving forward. Again, I, I cannot predict the future, but I'm very hopeful and very prayerful that, that this, this uh, uh, bill moving forward, this bill 181-35 COR will be the effort that it'll take to give to our survivors. The speaker says she hopes to have the bill referred as soon as tomorrow and a public hearing scheduled before the end of the month in time for the August session. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto. Brought to you by GTA, we start with you.